Christ Revealed Worldwide Ministries, led by Prophet Edward Israel and Pastor Sheila Chinyunyu, declares that our God has no history of failure. Are you ready for the word? Are you sure? Bow down your head, let us pray. Father, we are now on your table. Give to us understanding. To visit is not a very good thing to Sokurako. Nepfungwa Zagarama is not a good Soko. We are going to one of us and we say, Go be patin. Give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Let us open our Bibles to the book of Exodus, chapter number 23. Exodus, chapter number 23. Exodus, chapter number 23. Can I get this open? Exodus chapter number 23, verse 20 to 26. Exodus chapter number 23, verse 20 to 26. And uh, in this month, we are in the month of invoking the blessing and revoking cases. We are in the month of invoking the blessing and revoking cases cases. I don't know if you are here. You can, uh, you can help me say this, that S September is my month of invoking the blessing and revoking cases. Now I say the invoking is to call on the higher power. Is to call on the higher power. It is to call on the higher power. And revoking is to officially cancel. It's what officially cancel. So, Tirukudai Zasimba Guru Rikum Sorokudenga Kutiruye Andirika Kutitiwane Shinon Zeropa Fazo Tirukudai Zaropa Fazo Kum Soro Ropa Fazo Tekazi Zakubakuna Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. In order the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and addeth no sorrow with it. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and it adds no sorrow. Saka cha tirikuda hii ropa fazo, isina msozi, isinga chemezi. Tirikuda kuru ropa fazo, kwa kusinga chemezi. Mwareaka ropa fazo, azu chemezi. And the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it. He it does not attach sorrow to it. But ukabasir wane munu, anu kuna kutu ucheme, uka ropa fazo wane munu, anu kuna kukuchemeza. Zemunu zino cheme zasu zamaru zino ropa faza. Ono zamuna haka kuropa faza. Ono unge ucha rima indwa. Zoe joku ya ndaka mbona ya. Muna haka gara pazua. Haka feka sutu. Pano buda mchinda itanzi. Varizive sutu wara kuti vai pazua. Ula. Anzi. Amen. Zoe unopu wa nemunere. Zine ma conditions. Zaka attach kwa something. Asunga raka kuropa faza. Zine mufaro mazuri. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and he added. He does not attach sorrow to it. Amen. And we read from our theme scripture of the year, uh, of the month uh, of September, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. And the Bible says, and God blessed them. And God said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue, huh? and dominate. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over everything that creepeth upon the earth. And we understood that the blessing of the Lord, the first thing, chance each be fruitful. After God blessed them, he said, be fruitful. And we have noticed that that is the number one enemy to the Christianity, is, 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 is fruitfulness. I mean, the, uh, barrenness, actually. There is a war against fruitfulness in the children of God. 
pundutso iri kurwiswa pamwana wa mwari amene turi kumbozonera vasingana mati zvakasta dira ndo zvavari kushandira wakambozona asata atopedza degree basa ra kutomtsvaga iwo chati ukapedza ugotanga kutenderera ugoenda kupiko ugoita ugoita nemabasa epasi kuti pamwe vanga kukusimudzira but still is a challenge Number one mission ya Satan ya ndaka wona. Ya ndaka stada. Ina uye kukuru wisa kutu uye fruitful. And the demoni rekutanga raka itu kwa unleash against fruitfulness. Ndori nonzi na, na, na mga ripa verse 28 achipedisa. Pas nonzi and God bless them. And nonzi have dominion number one. You have to, do, to dominate the sea. Which is the demon from under the sea. Iroro arifari fruitfulness. It is the sponsor of barrenness. So today I want to speak on how to end barrenness in life. How to end barrenness in life. Somebody say after me, how to end barrenness in life. Maybe you can say it on a personal conviction and say, prophet, teach me on how to end barrenness in my life. Now when we are speaking of barrenness, it is failure to produce. You are incapable or is being or it is the state of being incapable to be fruitful. The state of being incapable to be fruitful. I have seen some people that are very uh, unfruitful. Kumpamariye business out of Zuti NDP. When we are speaking of barrenness Barrenness covers all areas of our lives. There is barrenness here. 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 There is Ndatichi. Eh? They have a barren mind. It cannot grasp. It's just like a barren womb. It cannot fertilize the egg. It can't do anything. Mbe ukurasa. Ameno kutu upanzuwele. Pane vanu. Vanima keri ari barren. Vanima business ari barren. Fungwa ziri barren. Vanima networks are barren. Shamari ziri barren. Hello? Like I made you to pray and I said the Bible says in all labor there is profit. Kurot so long wangu shanda chet kurufa na kuwa na something. Eye mwari kunyangu akatuka murume akamzot uchaji kachezi ya but pano warudi kitira asya pano chiku jikwa pazi ya racho futa. You are laboring. There is nothing. Barrenness is a case. I want you to know that. Barrenness is a what? Is a case. Because when God blessed them, he said, be fruitful. So the evidence of a blessing is fruitfulness. Please tell your neighbor the evidence. Of the blessing is fruitfulness. Fruitfulness is not the blessing. Fruitfulness is not the blessing. It is the evidence of being blessed. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Fruitfulness is not the blessing. In case you might mistaken someone and not carry a cook of God, Akaropa Fadzwa. Anakuropa Fadzwa. Namari, of course, at least. Ukonaka put up. Abuda pa 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 Facebook. Aka kumbere zuko na mota zako. But my blessings. Icho kwa di. I blessing yake umano zero pa fata. Kana wote pane kwa kwa na blessing a. Hello. So today we want to learn about how to end barrenness in our lives. So let us read from the book of Exodus chapter twenty-three from verse twenty. So you gotta be patient with me as I read. Behold, I send an angel before thee, to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. 
Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies, an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee and bring thee in unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quite break down their images. And he shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sicknesses away from the midst of thee. They shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Lord, bless the reading of your word. Confirm it with many signs and wonders. Confirm it with the blessing. Your blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can I get a better amen from somebody? Amen. We thank God. So, the book of Exodus was written by Moses. This is the man that also read the, that, that wrote the book of Genesis that we have the theme scripture. Dia kanyura buku ira shita oro kote pakutanga mara kasika denga ni nyika shanda katara last week asakanga asata zwarwa asumara kamuratiza zaka iti kapakutanga i asata vapo. It is amazing how I love the prophetic ministry because Moses is also called a prophet. He is God's prophet. Amongst the prophets, Moses is also a prophet. And this is the benefit of the prophetic ministry. It can see things of the past. It can see things of the present. It can see things of the future. The prophetic is so sweet and it is amazing. We really need the gift of prophecy. Amen. Now the Bible says, God is speaking through Moses to the children of Israel. Now, we all know that Moses was sent by God to deliver the children of Israel from the hands and shackles of Pharaoh. But it is a journey. They don't just get out of Egypt and straight away get into Canaan. They begin to travel. They begin to walk in the desert. But first of all, they encounter a miracle. That is transgenerational. That shall be spoken of for generations and generations, even until Jesus Christ comes back for the second time. He parts the Red Sea. God parts the Red Sea. Yeah. The, 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 the psalmist Antotarodi, he that blasted, you know, the Red Sea by the blast of his nostrils. reminder. Before I invoke that blessing, before I invoke that power, Even could awake, awake, O oh arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient times. Are you not the one that cut Rahab into pieces? Are you not the one that wounded the great sea monster? And you made your ransom to pass over on dry ground. Ah, whatever that is standing in your way. I invoke the power of Elohim. The one that parted the Red Sea. Famba pavura kao maiwe. I cannot be intimidated by the devil. When I have God by my side. He is a liar from the beginning. He is the father of all life. So says the scripture. He will be defeated here and now in your life. You've got a testimony that is building as I'm speaking right now. 
So the Bible speaks of Moses. And Moses is speaking and relaying the, the prophecy. And God says, behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. God is telling his children that he has sent an angel to bring them to a place he has prayed, um, prepared for them. There is a place that God has prepared for you even as a child of God. But there is something to take note of there. He says, behold, I send an angel. Now, if you look into your Bible, the word angel in the King James Version, angel uh, A is, the cap is written in capital letter, A. This angel is a unique angel. Not, angel. not all angels are written with the capital letter A. Papa, this is a Papa. This angel is an exceptional angel. He defends the integrity of God's name. Because he must make sure that the children of Israel reach their destination. Are you getting me? He is carrying the reputation of God. <laughs> he does not want the reputation of God to be tarnished. He is an angel that keeps the promise of God. He is an angel that makes sure that the word of God becomes flesh. He is an angel that does not want God to be mocked. I have sent an angel to go before thee. To a place that I have prepared you. The same angel is still here in the New Testament. Where God, the Bible, the Bible says, uh, all things work together to those that love the Lord. Those that are called according to his purpose. That angel is still working. That even when you face adversities, things that, are, that seems to, to, to be like working against you, they are working for you. Your situation, you are breakthrough. breakthrough. Moving with us, ladies and gentlemen. Basara and the Rekuti Chengeta. Seri Girozi Chfanaguti Chengeta. Neguti Panicha Takata Kurachinons the promise of God. Chirukufanaku Zadis, Wachakataur, when a numeri chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent. Has he said it, shall he not do it? Has he promised and shall he not make it good? Shall he not fulfill the promise? So there is an angel that is busy making sure that the promise is kept. But then he says something on the next verse. God then says, this kind of angel is different. Beware of him. That's what he says. Beware of this angel and obey his voice. Now the word God beware. Eh... Rakaomandagamborona the 
chimusoro chemunhu chisikau pakakuroswa kudai pakanzi biwe danger skelem ukabata wafa ukada kukwira mudenga mumagetsi munofa kuno kuti biwe ichinjedzo kuti pane chakashata chinogona kuitika pauri asi tiri kunzi biwe pa angel aikazvi taifunga kuti kana tiri kufamba ne angel hapana biwe ka <laughs> Hai was kufamba nengirozi mutakuna nja. Hai wa ndo kutofadza zvakana chisi famba navatumwa. Zvino naka. Navatumwa is there is no problem. Zvonzi beware of him and obey his voice. Kuro kuti failure to obey his voice it provokes the chanzi beware. Haona kudzwa. Ukanovhura muchimba chemagetsi chiri kutinira chiyachi. Imomo mune nyadza mwemo. Ukamuvura you have not obeyed the voice. Iwo uri kufunga kuti inyadzi mapurisa cheta cha kusunga kana mapurisa hazongo kusunge. Vari kuya kuzonyora kuzosertify kuti ati siya. Because unenge wa mufushwa nokuti wabata pasinga batwe. Uri kunzwe. Wano wano kuna kutanza kukuziya hamadza kokuita board view kuti. Ha. Amen kuti ndiye. 